Okay, so uh, here are the few examples. Right? Uh, uh, you're taking a collection of news stories and uh, starting with the word fish, here are, I guess, 15 or 20 most highly weighted statistical synonyms according to the four different metrics. So if I use the mutual information, I'll get these terms as the most um, um, sort of the most significant statistical synonyms, right? So let's take a look at them. And uh, are they good? No. Well, they're good to various degrees of goodness in a way, yeah. So if you look at mutual information by itself, I guess. Uh, So the ones in the mutual information column, um, remember, it's, it's related to fish, right? So longfin, yeah, needlefish, tuna boat, those are all certainly related to fish, but those aren't the kind of terms that would pop into your head immediately when you said fish. Um, same here for chi-squared, you get link cod, longfin, needlefish again. Um, so, uh, yeah, they're certainly fish, but they're not the, not the most natural kinds to think of. Uh, these are quite different from the other way, right? So, fishery, sea, boat, vessel, marine, river, food. Uh, that's all very much related to fish. And the same thing happens for the dice coefficient, right? So, what's going on here? Uh, and particularly for mutual information of EMIM, they're very similar, right? One of them just involves taking the log of another and multiplying by a term. But at the basis, they're very, very similar to each other. So one is one producing what seems like reasonable terms, and the other one is producing these strange words. Um, there's actually a very good reason why this is happening. And that reason has to do with, uh, with the structure and the formula that you're using for mutual information. Right? Um, so remember, your mutual information is number of times that you saw n uh, and B together. <coughs> right. um, looking at this formula, what is the highest possible value that you could ever get for this? I'm sorry? One. 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 Okay, right. Now, in what case would you get a one? Yes. So if you have one occurrence of A, one occurrence of B, and then we have A and B co-occurring together, then you would actually get a one. So in this case, the whole uh, the whole expression has a value of one. Is there any other way to get a one? The words only occur together. The words only occur together. So suppose they occur two times, right? So A must occur two times because A and B occur two times, and B must occur two times because A and B must occur. That's not one. What if you have two A's and one B? What if you have two A's and one B? So no matter what way you put it, so I mean, either this guy and this guy are going to go in tandem, or this guy and this guy are going to go in tandem. So as you increase one, you will increase the other. Another way to get this is if you have k, 1, k. That's another way to get off the 1. No, no, no. It is, it is possible. Oh, oh, yeah, sorry. Sorry about that. Um, so really, the only, way to, uh, the only way to get the highest uh, value is to have two terms that occur once in the whole collection. Of course, if you're doing it over a large corpus, if they occur once, what does it mean? It usually means they're either an incredibly rare term or they're a typo. So um, likelihood ratio or mutual information will be biased towards these kind of terms. It likes rare terms. And you can see it just by looking at that, right? All of these terms, they're not just puzzling. The reason they're puzzling to you is you haven't seen them much in your life, and I haven't either. 
And the reason we have it is they're low frequency terms. And uh, mutual information tends to favor them a lot. Now, what happens with an email? Email takes this thing, multiplies it by n. That doesn't matter, by the way. n is a big constant over all term vectors. Uh, takes the log of that. Is that changing? L is still monotonic. Uh, now, where it does change things is it multiplies it on the outside by n of AB. And this part is going to end up overruling the length of duration and pushing up the terms that occur a lot together. By the way, you do need this part, right? What happens if you just throw away this one? What will be your most favored term error? Off the or the fish, yes. <laughs> okay, so you need both components. They work in tandem. Um, and uh, enum is actually a pretty good way of picking out uh, statistical synonyms.